Luffy doesn't feel like a Yonko. Hello One Piece enthusiasts, I'm the One Piece nerd and today let's talk about how Luffy doesn't f feel like a Yonko as of yet. Well, Luffy becoming an emperor started after Whole Cake Island when Big News Morgans basically labeled him as someone who infiltrated Big Mom's territory, planned an assassination plot, got out of it and whatever, had a mastermind idea and he got out of it with damage being done to the whole Cake Island and that's what made him a fifth emperor. Well, ever since that point up until now, Luffy doesn't give off the vibe of being an emperor, although there are things to talk about. Before you move on, make sure to like and subscribe because it helps the channel out a lot. Now that you have, let's begin. Well, after the, f I'm gonna go through the entire timeline of, you know, Luffy's progression after he's been given the title of Yonko, and then we could debate whether or not he actually truly f does feel like a Yonko. Well, to start off with Whole Cake Island, you guys should know. Even us as fan base didn't really consider him as a command as like an emperor of the sea because he just escaped big mom granted roger did the same thing when it comes to sealing the poneglyphs but for roger it's a different story roger went head to head with rocks with garp and with whitebeard he was on equal terms with all of them so it makes sense as to why people would label him as pirate king because he's probably not the strongest but he's definitely the smartest. You don't have to be the strongest to be the king of the pirates. I mean, the strongest was Whitebeard, if you know what I mean. But the point being, Luffy wasn't like that. Luffy is still a rookie. Not a rookie. All right, yeah. Still a rookie at the point when he infiltrated Whole Cake Island. After that, evading Big Mom just barely with half the crew. Okay, that is an accomplishment in and of itself. He, man he did have allies, however, but it doesn't make him an emperor. We as a fan base agree. The whole world in the One Piece agreed. Moving on from there to Wano, where we have Kaido, we have Big Mom. Again, over here, big news. He's got his own agenda and whatever, but that's not the issue here. Yeah, okay, granted, big news made it as so that Luffy did all of this by himself, the same way he did with Whole Cake Island. In fact, it was Beijing who came up with the assassination plot for Big Mom. As for Wano, it was Law who came up with the idea, and Luffy's the one who executed the raid. For big news Morgans, it doesn't really matter. He made Luffy the limelight of the show, and well, Luffy... Technically, D did take down Kaido, not Big Mom. I understand. Maybe that's, I mean, that's probably the reason why Luffy's bounty is so low. I mean, not that low, but you know what I mean. He took down Kaido, for God's sake. But here's the thing. He was treated as the mastermind. In the eyes of Big News Morgans, although I'm not really sure if he actually cares about the title of Emperor, but point being... The whole world, even after knowing that Luffy beat Kaido and Big Mom, planned this entire thing on literally one of the strongest and biggest crew in the world of One Piece, he still doesn't get the respect he deserves. And these examples can be shown from Aramaki. It all started back with Aramaki. When Aramaki came to Wano deciding that, you know, Kaido was here, that's why I didn't attack, or the marines didn't attack. Now that Kaido's gone, you guys are basically small fries. I'll do everything I... I you guys are no match. So, Luffy, from the get-go of entering Wano, became something, something of like, you know, an empty emperor. And then moving on, we have Aramaki, and the same thing was done in... Uh, in Naked Island, where we have Rob Lucci, Rob Lucci, Luffy faced off in his lobby, but that was two years ago. The respect that Luffy deserves, and and then again, we're going back to the point of going back to the point of Luffy's opponents thinking of him as an emperor. We have someone like Lucci, and it's deliberate, and it's strictly said that without the permission of the Gorosei, you're not allowed. In any no one is allowed to attack a Yonko. Luffy is now officially a Yonko. 
Rob Lucci doesn't care. He didn't even wait for any command. He just went at it. Lu Lucci had no respect for Luffy. Aramaki didn't have any respect for Luffy. At this point, I still think Akainu still doesn't care because Akainu is Akainu. But he's someone who might have to follow the orders because he's the fleet admiral. And that's another pain of in and of itself. We're gonna get in that maybe into a future video. I want to make a video on Akainu being the fleet admiral and how it basically turned his life ups upside down. Well, not in a good way. So, with that being said, the first person to, to have basically treated Luffy as a proper Yonko is Vegapunk. And Vegapunk is allied with the Straw Hats. He respects what Luffy did. But that's not really the point. The world still doesn't consider him a Yonko. Luffy has territories. Fishman Island, Wano, Alabasta partially. Maybe even Amazon Lily, but not technically. That's beside the point. He, he still has two or three islands under his belt, which is not a lot, but something. I think it, uh, oh, Dressrosa is probably also included there. And he's got a giant fleet of 5,000 or so men. Which is insane to think about. I mean, okay, the quality of men, we can maybe be compromised, but number is still number. Yonko's got numbers, and, well, Luffy's got numbers. He still isn't treated as a Yonko. And the main reason as to why it doesn't happen is because Luffy, again, Luffy's opponents don't give him that respect. And I don't think that point in and of itself is enough to say that Luffy doesn't feel like a Yonko. Another thing is it's Luffy. He's goofy and all. He's cartoonish. He is, you know, he's laid back. Yeah, he's got ambitions. He's strong. But his persona doesn't give off that vibe until he gets serious. And the first time, not the first time, second time, that Luffy, now, now that starting to feel like Luffy feels sort of like a Yonko, is when Luffy said to Rob Lucci in the recent chapter that, hey, look, uh, if I'm going to let you go, I know you can't beat me. Uh, that doesn't mean you're going to go after my friends because I'll never let that happen. This is where Luffy starts to show his dominance. I think this is where we get the character growth he needs. He needs to understand now that he's more of an influential figure than he ever was. And if he's gonna become king of the pirates, he's going to have to be a little dominant when it comes to his opponents. And I feel like it will come into play with Blackbeard, even the war against the world government. Everything will, this whole development of Luffy becoming a more dominant figure rather than a laid-back figure could potentially lead him to be accepted as the king of the pirates in fact i can even see the f point where luffy does become the king of the pirates but no one accepts him because of luffy's laid-back personality because luffy's f real form or rather his true potential is a cartoonish character it's something that is so something to be treated lightly. It's not supposed to be serious. It's One Piece is a lighthearted show. This is something that people get wrong. Even I myself got wrong to an, to an extent at some point. But now I understand Oda's goal in this entire thing is to keep it lighthearted. And Luffy might just be the only Yonko or the only king of the pirates that, or, or a world leader or whatever. That doesn't feel like a world leader. Even Roger didn't have what Luffy has, which is a laid-back personality with no interest to dominate. Yes, Roger did say that he doesn't want to dominate, but he had that in himself. He wasn't serious all the time. We've never seen Roger becoming serious. We've seen Luffy become serious. So, even when Roger isn't serious, he still looks dominant. Luffy doesn't. That's the point. Can a non-dominant figurehead become a ruler or, or a king of the pirates or, or, or an emperor? That's what the point is. I feel like if Luffy's gonna go through this development where he basically makes his opponent understand that now his status is bigger than what it was, I think this can go into a different direction. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day and peace.